Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So it's been a while since I made a speaker video, a speaker test video. No, a um. A but it's been a while since I've made a video involving speakers. Let's just put it that way. And the last speaker video I made involved this. Now, I'm not talking about the waterproof bass test. I'm talking about the sound comparison I did with this and the Bose SoundLink Mini 2. You see, in that video, I used a microphone that I wouldn't normally use and the sound wasn't the best. But now I have that microphone back, I can now continue making a speaker video. And in this video, I have these. That's so beautiful. Wow. So what I'm going to do with these is modify one of them and leave the other one as it is. That way we'll be able to tell the difference between the before and after. Also, this was an idea that was suggested to me by somebody on Instagram. And if I remember correctly, the person that suggested this is here. Okay, so here is the first speaker I'm gonna be working on. And before I start working on this, I'm gonna take a sh All right, now that's out of the way with, what I'm gonna do is take the grill off. Okay, so the last time I tried taking this speaker apart, I couldn't seem to take this off. It's quite difficult to get your fingers, fingernails underneath this, whereas this, you can simply stick your hand into there and sort of just lift this off. Now, I'm not too sure how I'm gonna manage with this. I might just leave it as it is because I should be able to do everything I need to do with this speaker out. With it being about minus 50 outside, I've decided not to work on the floor Ignore that. That is just my soldering iron warming up and I've moved everything to the desk. Everything being this single speaker cabinet. So enough jibber jabber, let's take this out. And out, off, that comes. Luckily we only have four screws, so an electric screwdriver is not necessary. Although it would be a lot quicker. I'm just gonna use this plain old simple thing right here. And um, yeah, really quite simple. So how has your day been then? What do you think of the recent YouTube drama between that guy and the other guy? Do you know who I'm referring to? If not, never mind. Not really want to get into drama, but I was sucked in. Did you just see what happened? Did you just, did I just, I actually poked a hole through it. Ain't that a bitch? Well, it's not that bad. I'll show you a close up. That right there is what has just happened. Not too bad, but that was a bit of a fail. Serves me right for talking about crappy YouTube drama. Well, I guess I now have a good enough reason to replace these speakers. Why are they so short? I don't think you can see them, but there's wires here connecting this to these tweeters and they're really short for some reason. Why? Seriously though, look, check this out, look. What is, what could be the, what could be the purpose for that? What, let me, I'll lower the camera a little bit so you can see. Lowering the camera a little bit so you can see. And repositioning, pointing it at the right area. Okay, so I'm gonna point it there. Set focus to around here. And now I'll lift this up and get my hand out of the way. All right, see that? These, what, why, why? Now I'm usually quite relaxed about stuff, but this is making me not relaxed. So what am I gonna do now? What can I do now? Hmm, this is supposed to be a YouTube video on a, a speaker modification. Which numpty? I would like to know the person that wired these together and why they chose to do this. What was wrong with them? They're even soldered to the bloody terminals. Ah. Oh. So this must not be the speaker that I took apart the first time then because that would explain why this was stuck to the box a little more than it should have been because I did take this out and, well, not this, the other one. Maybe I'm gonna have to take the other one apart now instead. 
Is there any way I can take this off? Should we try taking this off? Okay, now we'll set focus to that. Okay, so this is going to be difficult. Maybe if I can take this apart, then the speakers I can unscrew. Um, I don't even know how they're attached, so I'm just assuming. And you should never assume because that makes an ass out of you and me. Right. Okay. Not good. Gay. That's offensive. I'll take that back. Um, tweezers are not going to work. These are for the insects. The insects from yesterday's video. Not yesterday's video because I upload every... I upload every now and then. So the previous video. Don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, I have a blade. I have a blade. But I don't think a blade is really going to work. Or maybe it will. Well, it's gone underneath. That was pretty, pretty damn simple. Don't want to take it too far just in case. And um, now what? Okay, well, this can maybe protect the wood. And then what I'll do is slide something... Well, these are too thick. Can't use them. They are way too thick. So... Um... What? What? This is where a creative mind should excel. But I hate excel. Shall we just try the tweezers? Shall we just try the... Move this out of the way. Well, that's underneath now. And the speaker keeps sliding around, so that's not good. Okay, now maybe I'll be able to get one of these flathead bits in under, if I can get it out. Okay, so now I have the tweezers under this, I have the razor, and I'm going to get this under there. And it feels as though I'm in surgery. This is my operating table, and I'm about to save the life of a speaker and out goes the razor onto my feet and let's see if I can stick my fingers underneath and the speaker's moving and ouch and the speaker's moving and it's off it's off that was a surprise for moi okay so that seems to be one unit one unit and we have some things attached to it do you see how long this is? What the hell is that speaker attached to? That is the question. Ah, I see. Okay. I'm just going to put this... Um, shove it up your ass! Okay, so I'll just turn the speaker around and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower the camera. That way you should be able to see what is inside. You and I are both seeing this for the first time. That is some sort of a capacitor or something. There's actually two sets of speaker wires, and uh, one of them is connected to that, so, um, hmm. Okay, so I guess all I can really do is work with what I have, and right now I've only got this hole right there. Well, I guess there is this porthole as well, but it's not very wide. Right, so we need to stuff it with something, and I have just the thing. Okay, so this is the stuffing I'm going to be stuffing into my speaker. I got this from my local DIY store. You can probably find something similar at your local DIY store. I suggest that you not use fiberglass to stuff a speaker cabinet unless you have iron lungs. This is made of recycled plastic and I have a close-up for you right here, which is out of focus and a little overexposed. Okay, so there we go, there's a bit of a close-up of it, and I'll stick my fingers on the screen so you have some sort of a reference. I've used this in all my speaker stuffing videos, even the big 18-inch sub that I have downstairs, so check out that video right there. And right as I press record, somebody's texting me. Yes, yes, that is urgent information I needed to know. Okay, so the, the way I'm going to do this, right, the way I'm going to stick the stuffing into this, I'm going to cut out some sheets of insulation about the size of the speaker. Now, I seem to be running out of this spray glue that I've used on just about every speaker that I've done this on. So, somebody's texted me again. So, what I'm going to do, rather than using that, is use some of this Doritos dip. The dip contains nails, and these nails will be applied to each corner. So yeah, that's basically that. Now what I'm going to do is use these pair of scissors to cut out some insulation. So this video is going way better than I expected it to go. Sarcasm! The wires that were connected to the capacitor are now 
no longer connected to the capacitor. There is one wire that is still connected to something, but the wires connected to the capacitor have now disconnected. That means I will need to replace the capacitor or see how it sounds without the capacitor connected to it. Or maybe simply replace this completely. Does anybody know the exact size of this speaker? If you do, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, to be continued.